Hey everyone, it's Cody Steck. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're talking about how Utah was just ranked among the 18 cheapest states where it's cheaper to build a home than to actually purchase one. We're going to be running through uh, this new study that just came out that's saying building in Utah is actually cheaper than you might think. And that's why a lot of people are going in that direction. So we're going to cover some really interesting information here. Before we do that, if you're looking to buy or sell real estate here in Utah, I'd love to be your trusted real estate resource of choice. Call, text, or email me anytime my information is here on the screen and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. So please reach out to me and let's discuss your personal situation and see what we can do to help you get into a home or sell the one that you currently have. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in here and talk a little bit about this. So the article starts off with uh, just a quick little overview of a story about some people who wanted to build a home that was a little bit bigger than they had. They thought they were going to make some money off of selling the town home that they already owned. They ended up making about twice as much as they thought they would and were able to get into a new home at a fairly affordable price. So it's basically saying, hey, this is um, a common experience. And it's one of only 18 US states where it is cheaper to build a house than to buy one, according to a new 2022 study from Storage Cafe. Now this article starts off here. I've highlighted some areas for us. Utah comes in as the fourth most cost effective state for home building after Hawaii, California and Colorado. Now these are really interesting uh, numbers here. Uh, Hawaii, California, and Colorado are all going to be expensive markets. So it's interesting to see that it's actually cheaper to build in these markets than it is to buy something. Don't know fully why that's the case. Maybe it's just because of where the new construction can happen or is happening, which we'll talk about here a little bit further in a second, um, or maybe it's something else entirely. However, the average total building cost in Utah, including land and construction fees is $538,000, which according to the study, and that is $97,000 less than the average single family home listing price of $635,000. Now, the thing you have to keep in mind here is that the average total building cost in Utah is that low because where most of the new construction is happening is not in an area where land is extremely valuable, right? If you're trying to build a brand new home in the suburbs where there's just an individual lot, you're probably not even going to be able to buy the land for no less than 300, maybe even $400,000 for just the lot, right? That's not even building the house. So where the land is cheaper and you're going to get those cheaper construction fees, you're going to have to go further away from town. You're going to have to go out to Eagle Mountain. You're going to have to go up north to West Haven. You're going to have to go to some of the smaller central Utah towns to find land and construction fees that are that low, right? So they're saying the median listing price is 635000 Yeah, because that's where most of the homes are located in the metro market are selling at those much higher prices, whereas most of the new construction that's bringing down the construction cost for new construction uh, is going to be out kind of in the middle of nowhere, if you will. There's an article or there's a, a quote here. Um, home buyers wanting to move to expanding areas like Harriman, Bluffdale, and Riverton should definitely look at new builds, which are priced competitively with older homes. I do agree with this. I do think you can get a new construction home in most markets that's actually going to be a better deal or very equivalent to an existing home, um, especially in these newer areas. Harriman, Bluffdale, and Riverton, yes, maybe, maybe not. I still think that those markets are going to be a little bit more expensive and you're going to pay a premium to get new construction in those areas. But if you go a little bit further out, if you start looking at Saratoga Springs, you start looking at Eagle Mountain, you start looking down south, like in Santa Quinn or Mona or Nephi, you're going to find more new construction homes. And there's a good chance it's probably going to be cheaper than what the existing homes are selling for. If we scroll down here a little bit further, this is talking about Southern Utah, which is another market that I work uh, with my teammates down there in that area. I'm kind of back and forth between Salt Lake and St. George right now. Um, so Southern Utah is an area that we also work and would love to help you if you're considering moving to that area. Uh, so talking about this market directly, people like to build because there just hasn't been as much inventory to choose from to purchase. This is especially true in Southern Utah. When uh, the, these people were quoted saying, when we were looking at buying, it was the same cost to buy and remodel versus just building. So that was ultimately the deciding factor. This is something that's really true. I've seen this a lot, especially in Southern Utah. There's just not a lot of inventory out there and the area is growing so quickly that there's a way better options to go and build something or buy something brand new from the builder at a much more affordable price for what you get, right? You're going to basically, let's say you spend 600,000 on an existing home. You're going to spend a hundred to 150 to really fix that up and get it updated. Whereas you could just go buy a brand new home for 750 and be out the door with everything brand new, not having to touch a thing. So 
it definitely does, does make more sense in most cases to go that new construction route, especially in Southern Utah. I highly recommend that as something that you should look into doing. The agents that know how to provide a great service in any kind of market and know the fundamentals will do great. You're going to see a lot of agents struggle because they don't know how to deal with change. This market is changing very rapidly. There's a lot of moving parts and you really have to have a good sense of what's happening in the nuances of the market every single day from an agent who sells a lot of homes. If you think about buying or selling real estate here in Utah, I'd love to be that agent for you. I'm in the top 1% of real estate agents here in the state and I would love to help you along that journey. So having somebody on your side who knows the market is going to be so critical important. Even if you don't end up working with me, at least make sure to get and work with somebody who's at that same level, who is closing and selling a lot of houses because they're going to have a really good sense of what's going on in the market. Going down a little bit further, this is going to talk about Utah's growth rate. The last U.S. Census confirmed that Utah was the fastest growing state in America over the past 10 years with a large influx coming from coastal states like California. Megan and Michael Caldwell and their four children are part of that migration. They moved from Orange County, California to Spanish Fork, buying a lot in May 2021 and moving into their new home the following June, just over a year to actually build the home. Their move was largely motivated by house prices and a need for more space. Similar single family home in California would cost well over $2 million and wouldn't have the same kind of yard. So that's a really interesting thing. There's a lot of people, of course, many of you may be in this situation where you're looking at your current market thinking, hey, prices are really high. To get what I can get here is gonna cost me a million dollars, $2 million, maybe even $3 million. Whereas if you come to Utah, you can get that same exact home for let's say 600,000, 800,000, maybe a million dollars for a really, really nice property and you're willing to make that trade off. Things did not go exactly as planned for these guys. One last point I wanna talk about here, Megan said finishing their basement and putting in landscaping ended up being bigger expenses than they had gauged. This is something I think a lot of people underestimate. If you're looking at new construction, being able to find a property that is either priced well or already has some of these things done is going to be a huge advantage for you. If you can find a home with a finished basement, a partially finished basement, um, or they've already done some of the landscaping, that's gonna give you a huge leg up. You're gonna save a lot of money going through that process because a lot of people underestimate how expensive it is to actually do those things. Finishing your basement can be anywhere from 40 to $50 a square foot, depending on how nice you make it. So if you've got a 1500 square foot basement, it's gonna cost you at least 60 to $100,000 to finish that off. As far as landscaping, I've seen some people spend 20,000. I've seen some people spend 40,000. Most homes, I think you're probably gonna spend somewhere between 50 to $60,000 to fully landscape it, right? If we're doing rocks, we're doing grass, we're doing turf, uh, trees, bushes, anything like that, it's going to add up very quickly. So you have to be prepared for that. Of course, you can go with a cheaper option that's gonna be just more basic, but if you actually wanna landscape it nicely, and you know, by the time you add a back patio and a pergola and furniture and uh, sprinklers, all these different things, it's gonna add up really quickly and you could easily be 50 to 60,000 by the time it's all said and done on a regular sized lot. So with that being said, I wanna hear what you guys think about this. Utah is among the 18 cheapest states where it is cheaper to build a home than it is to buy one. I think we covered some pros and cons to that here in this video. Yes, it can be cheaper, but you are gonna be further out. If you're trying to build a brand new home in the city, let's say in Salt Lake County, um, you know, in an existing area, it's going to be well more expensive to build in those areas than it is to build out in the middle of nowhere, if you will, right? So you have to keep that in mind if you're looking for more information about what areas to consider, what areas might be the best fit for you. Make sure to reach out to me, call, text, or email anytime. I love hearing from you guys and I cannot wait to hear from you individually who's watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel before you leave and share this video with a friend or a family member who's also interested in Salt Lake City, Utah real estate. With that said, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.